Labour's next leader will be chosen by its half a million or so members in the coming months. Sky News has the result of the very first poll of Labour members asking who they want to succeed Jeremy Corbyn. On behalf of the party members project for the Economic Social Research Council run out of Queen Mary and Sussex Universities, YouGov polled 1,059 Labour members. Here's who they put down as their first preference. Shadow Brexit Secretary Keir Starmer comes out on top, getting 31% of first preferences. Corbynite favourite and Shadow Business Secretary Rebecca Long-Bailey comes out second on 20%. And the rest trail those two. When it comes to voting, Labour runs a preferential system, meaning that members are asked to rank who they want in numerical order. If no one gets over 50%, then one candidate is knocked out in each round and the votes of the eliminated candidate redistributed amongst the others. So, using this method, who does that suggest the poll thinks will win? In the opening round, Lisa Nandy's knocked out. Then, in round two, Emily Thornbury. Then, in round three, Clive Lewis. And in round four, Yvette Cooper. Jess Phillips is out in round five. That leaves just two contenders going head-to-head -head in the final round. Here, Keir Starmer has a 22-point lead over his rival, giving him a comfortable victory if this poll was replicated on election day. Keir Starmer beats Rebecca Long-Bailey in every age category, in every region, amongst men and women, and amongst the professional classes and the working classes, the only group that who favour Long Bailey over Starmer are Labour members who voted to leave the EU in 2016. Remainers back Starmer. Now, there are plenty of caveats when it comes to working out Jeremy Corbyn's successor. A poll isn't a prediction. Some candidates may yet enter the race or pull out, and it might not include some of the other categories of supporter who turn out to be eligible to vote. But on the basis of this early peck polling exercise, it seems Jeremy Corbyn and his team won the hearts of party members in 2015, but not the right to determine its future direction in 2019.